Hey, Tamara and Abby. I want to thank you guys so much for doing this uh, vlog video diary communication thing with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I, today is Thursday, and I wanted to post this first uh, video just kind of catching you guys up on some of the things. Some of this I've already told you in texts, but too bad you're going to hear about it again. So, uh... Mainly, uh, the newest thing is that I went to have my MRI yesterday. I've had, as you guys know, I had the entire month of, of March basically constant migraines of various sever levels of severity uh, that only started slacking off a week or so ago. So, yay! Less migraines, good things. As well as in between then and now, I started on uh, medication from the neurologist to help stop migraines from happening in the first place, which seems to be doing its job for the most part. Haven't had any migraines, but still getting headaches, but I'll take normal headaches over migraines. Let definitely, definitely. Uh, and I can say that MRIs are less scary than one thought. I, the biggest thing I was freaking out about was getting the IV because, as you guys know, I hate needles and anything in that area of things jabbing into arm. Do not like. So that was my biggest concern going in there was the IV because I did no likey. Thankfully, they allowed Taylor to be there with me for the IV portion of things. So he could distract me and make me not look at my arm, which was getting the IV, which also at least ten times faster at doing the whole stick in arm thing than any of the people who I had putting the tube in for giving blood all the times that I went to donate. So uh, went much smoother than any of those times. Applause to that uh, MRI technician nurse person. Pause. Thank you, Linda. Um, and then the actual MRI was just sit on or lay on your back on the table thingy and listen to loud noises and music for 20 minutes to half an hour. If not for the noises, it would have been very relaxing, actually. So that part, not bad at all. Ivy, Still don't appreciate needle tube things in arm, but easier to handle than giving blood. So, pros and cons. Uh, I just got a phone call t this morning, actually, from the MRI technician peoples, uh, saying my MRI came back completely normal. So my there is no physical thing that they can see that is wrong with my brain that is causing the migraines, which I guess is good news no tumor or anything like that. Uh, so I guess that just leaves chemical weirdness. Uh, it's an answer at least. So well, figuring out where to go from there. Um, Work-wise, having the shorter hours has helped and uh, though it has not helped the you know, financial situation, but working, it's, it's doing okay, and, uh, yeah, still kind of considering looking at different jobs for the sheer point of, uh, maybe getting one that doesn't trigger migraines, maybe, so, you know, working on that, um, on the crochet front, one moment, on the crochet front, uh, starting from the uh, earliest inside joke between us, Abby, this is for you, says the slut heron. Ta-da! Look at those high heels. Look how cute they are. Uh, as Abby well knows, this uh, beautiful, beautiful creation came about because uh, as we were texting, her phone tried to... Uh, Auto-corrected Slytherin to Slut Heron. 
And it was just too funny that she had to keep it. It was just too funny of an autocorrect to, to reverse before it sent. Uh, so when I saw that, I immediately got the picture in my head and it made me laugh. I felt kind of bad for laughing, but it made me laugh. And thus I needed to crochet it. So, by the way, I do not, as you guys know, really like the word slut, but it was what the autocorrect did. So, well, Aaron in Slytherin scarf colors, because it was supposed to be Slytherin, but it wasn't. So those cute shoes, oh my god! I am so proud of the way those came out. Those came out way better than I expected. And for those who are not Tamara and Abby, uh, whenever I crochet anything, it is never with a pattern. I do not go off of a pattern at all. It is all completely free thought to crochet. I do a lot of mess ups and re-crocheting things to figure it out, but it's, you know how my process works. So that was that. And then uh, if you guys recall earlier I had done uh, a duck and now I have redone the duck. I think it came out way better this time. And uh, this is this is going to be the one that will end up being sent to the source fed crew once I finish his toll booth worker hat. Because spoilers, uh, on a very, very long time ago, Table Talk, Danny Rosenberg, and a bunch of the others were talking about cute animals that they want to see doing people jobs, and one of the answers that Danny had was that she wanted to see a duck pretty much doing any pe people job, but especially kind of thought that a toll booth worker would be hilarious, and I agreed, so... Crocheting a duck. I'm gonna make him a toll booth worker. It's going to be adorable. And then finally, just for my own uh, funsies, I had just yesterday finished a new mermaid. I haven't given her her mouth yet, so coming soon. But and I revamped the way I was doing the tails a little bit, so they're a little bit, a little bit better now, in my opinion. But yeah. Uh, well, also, had a new way of sewing on the hair that is much faster for me, and still looks boss, so excitement on that. Always glad to have more efficiency in my creative process. Not to hinder the creative process, but just so that I don't get frustrated or bored with how long it takes to stitch every single strand of crocheted hair onto the head. Ugh. Uh, so that's pretty much what I've done for the last couple weeks, um, as well as Taylor and I have been watching a ton of, how do I pronounce it again? Ruroni. Ruroni Kenshin. I continually find that name when I'm pronouncing it, and Taylor is the only one who can get it right, so. <laughs> um, but it's on Netflix, Tamara, Abby, Highly recommend you give it a try. Definitely watch it. I have really been enjoying it, and the theme song will get stuck in your head almost guaranteed. But look out the English version. And what? Look out the English oh, version. Uh, Taylor recommends you look up the English version of the introductory song because it's better, in our opinion. At the very least, more understandable for us. So, okay. Um,. Yeah, that's, that's been all that's been going on so far. I look forward to hearing from you guys and seeing your videos sometime in the next week or so. So until then, I love you, miss you, mwah!